Welcome back to the Family Talk Show with another episode with your boy Marcus and your boy William. And we got a very special guest with us today, one of our brothers from the North Florida program, here to talk a little about, about his story and about himself. Uh, I'm just going to introduce himself. How uh, y'all doing, man? I'm Marquise. I just want to, you know, spread the word a little bit, what's going on, what we doing out here, whatever. And, you know, I'm going to try to answer all these questions as, you know, as, as truthful truth as I can. You know, I ain't going to have nothing. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. Yes, sir. We're always keeping it real. So, starting off, uh, just said, like, where you from? Like, you from here or you from somewhere else? Like, I'm from, I'm, I'm born and raised in Chicago, but I, when people ask me, I really say, you might as well say I'm from here because I've been here 10 plus. So, you know, I, so I just say I'm from here, but I'm born and raised in Chicago, though. Okay, okay. <clears throat> I mean, growing up, how was that transition, like, uh, going from Chicago to here? Like, was it like, did, did you notice it or, like, was you too young for, like, Steve to notice the change? Me, I, I noticed it, it was a big difference because, like, like, you know, I ain't nothing wrong with the cars and I'm like, when I first, like, I never in my life ever seen, like, I ain't got no problem with Somalians and them, but I never seen a Somali in Chicago, like, with the whole look. That's crazy. A lot of people say that, too, like, coming up here, like, they see, they see a lot of Somalians, like, coming up here, that's crazy. Yeah, so, you know, the, when, the, when I first got up here, you know, <laughs> they kind of, you know, they, they kind of scared because, you know, I ain't, you know, they, you know, their face was covered, their whole body was yeah. covered, so, you know, I used to be kind of worried about them, like, damn, like. Like what they on, you know, yeah. but the whole time, you know, I got old, I found that was just part of their little culture, you know, they don't like their body showing and stuff like that, so, you know. Okay, yeah, most okay. Definitely. okay, okay. So, so, how you, so like, what you think about Minneapolis community than Chicago? Like, what you think is different and what you think is better? I mean, a lot, I mean, to be honest, a lot of people say Chicago is worse than than Minneapolis, but they kind of similar, you know, it's the same, it's the same stuff going on. I mean, Chicago might be a little bit worse, but, you know, ain't no change in, you know, Minneapolis, you know, the killing, the guns or whatever, you know, it ain't no difference. So, the, I, I, it really ain't no difference to me, you know, it's still, it's violence everywhere, but, you know, Chicago and Minneapolis, that's, that play a big part, you know, so, it ain't no difference to me. I, I look at them the same, but I, I knew I was in different spots though when I moved though, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. so. Okay, so what, what like, what do you miss about being in Chicago? What do I miss about being in Chicago? To be honest, probably just the food, you know, because I was too young to really know what was really going on. But you know, I, you know, I I didn't know what was going on, but I was too young to know what I really wanted to do. So when I came up here. You know, that's where that's where all my friends came in and you know, how I met new people and stuff like that. So Okay. Yeah. Like, that's really most of right. that. So then growing up like then growing up how did you go like was you uh were raised in the suburbs or was you raised on the north side of Minneapolis? North side. North side, okay. So then coming up as a shorty then coming back then from Chicago, coming up here like in school and everything, like was it was it easy for you? Like was you able to fit in, like and, like, you know, Make friends and anything, or was it hard? Like, would you like a lonely type of thing? Like, just like in Chicago, I was how you say it? I was anti social in Chicago. Bro. Like, I didn't speak, I was one of the quiet kids from none of that. If I didn't know you, I wasn't gonna speak to you. But that was how everybody was like, one of just coming up to me, speak to me, neither of so you know, I just left like that. But when I came up here, you know, it was you know, it was more like they come up to me, oh, I'm this person, I'm this person, this is all I like to do, this is all I like to do, and it was like. People come up to me like, you ain't got to sit by yourself. You can come over here, you know, play with us or whatever, you know, stuff like that. So, I, when I got here, you know, I got more into the, like, the community more, you know, I started speaking more to other people, you know, because before I came up here, I was anti-social. I was anti-social, you know, I ain't want to talk, I ain't want to be friends, I ain't want to shake hands, I ain't want to do none of that with nobody. If I didn't know you, I didn't know you, you just going to leave it like that, but came up here, you know, I met some real cool people, real nice people, you know, and I'm kind of glad I didn't get them because, you know, they played it. I'd be open up to certain people, not a lot of people, but I'd open up to certain people though, because I, I'm still trying. I'm anti-social still, but not how I was though. Right, right, mm-hmm. right. So, so, uh, so, what you think? So, like, you think in Chicago? If you stayed in Chicago, where would you be now? Mm-hmm. If you didn't come to Minnesota. <clears throat> to be honest, if I stayed in Chicago. I ain't gonna never really say, I ain't, I, I'm gonna say, cause I ain't never been no follow the leader type of person, you know, so I'm gonna say, it's, mm, that's kind of tough yeah. because, you know, I just, like, that's like, like, they like similar, you know, what, what's going on in both states, so. So you, you 
think it'd be the same right now. So you probably would go to the same program. Yeah, if it, if it was if I was up there, they had a program like this up there. Yes, I, 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 I would volunteer in that one too. Yeah. So speaking on that, you know, going to like life's the same. I mean, like both areas need change and everything. You know, here at North Fork, we create change. And so like coming into the program, like at what point like did you really know that that you want to make a change for your community? And really just start making a difference like <clears throat> in life. Like really know that I want to follow them. That I'm gonna make a change and go over here like we you know with the North Fork program. Like what point in your life? Was it after school, but whole school? Not even following either. Like, yeah, you know, seeing if you trying to become a leader. Yeah. Which lane, like, yeah, like, what point, which lane did you choose? Like, really know okay. your path, you feel me? Okay, I really, like, I had, a, like, I won't say I had a, a change of heart. Like, I really, I ain't gonna say change of heart, because, you know, you know, I still do whatever I do, I still do what I do, you know, right. but, you know, I'm gonna just say, I calm down. Like, I wanna say, I ain't gonna, after my gun case, you know, after my gun case, I calmed down because I had a lot to sacrifice. You know, if I, you know, if I got, if I got caught up again, you know, I had a lot of sacrifice. Like I was gonna go to jail for a long time. So, so you know, the way I, and, you know, when I caught my gun case, you know, one of my family members, you know, they got shot and missed all that. So, so I looked at it as like, okay, basically by me living this lifestyle, I'm getting, I'm getting my loved ones hurt. So you know, I don't want to see my loved ones hurt. So, so you know, I. You know, people gave me my resources or whatever, so they, you know, gave me the number, like, you need y'all, so, you know, go holler at this person, go holler at that person, you know, I took it and I ran with it, you know, I wasn't going to play with it, so I took it and ran with it, you know, I had a couple of meetings with people, you know, and, you know, the stuff they was telling me and the doors they opened for me, you know, I knew, like, it wasn't no game, like, they really want change for, you know, basically for for the brothers types, you know, the ones who, you know, gang making shooting guns or whatever like that, so, so, you know, when I... You no, know, so the meetings I was going to or whatever, you know, the people who was talking to me, it's like they wasn't really talking to, you know, to a lot of people that was in the group. You know, they, they all kept coming to me. So that made me think, like, they must see something in me. So, so when, when people make me feel some like, a, in a good way, like, they see something, like, if a person tell me they see something in me, you know, I'm around with it, you know, I ain't going to, you know, I don't believe, you know, I ain't, ain't going to say I don't believe in that fool, none of that, but, you know, I'm going to, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I feel it though. I feel it though. So being in the in the North Fork program, you know, we all in the North Fork program. We all uh, go to this group every day. So like, has how, how has the North Fork program impacted you then? You know, since, since you've been in the program, like, you know, you made the, the switch up. You know, moving different now. So like, how has it how has it impacted your life? Like, has it has it made a difference in your life? Like since the start of this program, the program have have the program made a difference in my life? Yeah, you feel me? Yes, it, yes, it has because I want to say. Like, I, I'm getting opportunities that I never even had before. Like, I never had these opportunities that these, that these people giving me. So, I want to say, like, basically, you know, they, you know, offer me a good job. They're giving me housing, like, you know, so it made a, so it made a big impact on my, on my lifestyle, you know. Like, this, this group is making me really do a big change on my life, you know, so. And it's not, I'm not just talking, just talking that. I'm really, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, you know, I, you know, I, you know, I did, you know, I did my dirt or whatever, you know. So I'm 24, you know, I've been doing this shit. I'm, you know, I've been doing this, since, you know, 11, 12, you know. Right. And, you know, it's always, you know, certain place and certain time, you know, to do everything. Right. And I'm gonna be, you know, it's time for me to, you know, settle down. Yeah, settle down. You know, just stay with have a family or something, you know, because. You know, I already, you know, I did, you know, I did my dirt or whatever, you know, I did, you know, did my time, all that, you know, so, you know, so this group, it, it played a big part in my life, you know, and I'm right. kind of glad I, you know, came across the group, you know, because right. ain't no telling where I would have been, I would never, if I would never had the resources that got told to me, you know, ain't no telling what I would have been doing, right. you know, you know, dead or in jail, you know, you never know, but this group is, you know, it's helped, it's pushing me to do better, you know, so, and then the people that's in the group, you know, we, you know, we all trying to, you know, we all just trying to better ourselves, you know? Right, right, right. Right, so, so, um, so, I was just thinking, so, like, you talking about change a lot. So, like, what's one thing you wish you could change? Or, like, two, you know, as many as you want. What what you wish you could change out of the world and yourself? Oh, you know, I find that a thing I can change. Like, like laws, just, if you don't like the laws, you know, just talk about it. Just one thing in the world. That you think that if, really if you could change it, this is how you do it. Right. You feel me? Mm, let me see. It could be the 
smallest thing, anything. Right. Some, some, <laughs> some, some you think should be improved on, you feel me? It could right. be anything. Okay. Well, if I had, if I could change anything, I would change the, uh, you know, well, I ain't gonna lie to you. I said I won't, I won't be 100% truthful to you. I just said keep it real. So if I could change something, bro, I would change. <laughs> we'll come back to it. It sounds like you did it, bro. So, so okay, okay. It's like we go some, some, some more lighter. You feel me? Right. Some more so lighter. Like, all right, all right. This is enough of being serious. So like, so like, what's your favorite basketball team, football team, sports team, and what's your favorite sport? Okay, my favorite. Well, now my favorite team is the Rockets because mm, uh, yeah, my boy Westbrook <laughs> just ran over there. So I want to say the Rockets. <laughs> Sport, I'm gonna stick with the basketball, you know. So, no football, you don't like no football teams, you got no favorite? I ain't got no favorite football team. Right, hey. You know, I don't just, you know, I don't, you know, football season start, I don't really go to, oh, I'm gonna go watch the football game. I don't do that shit, you know. Okay, okay. So, what is your goal in five years? Or, no, six, since you're 24. Six years? My goal in six years, I wouldn't say. At least in six years, I should be stable. I should have a real family, and and everything goes smooth. I like to, you know, I like to keep, you know, coming into the to the group, you know, make sure the group the group keep going. Like basically, it should be it basically should be to the point where our kids should be able to come to the group. Like, oh yeah. Well, my dad told me about this group. That's why I'm in this group. And my dad told me about it. So basically, if it was up to me, bro, I'd be one of the, you know, one of the head top heads in the, you know, that's in this group right now. You know, so. I dig it. I dig it. Okay. So then, on the more light side, then okay. So then, you watch, you watch TV a lot. You like, you more of a TV man. You more of a uh, grab a book or come on go outside. So you, don't, you don't watch no, te- no television, no, no binge watching or nothing. Well, you, you do, uh, how about cartoons? Like growing up, you watch any cartoons? Yeah, growing up, yeah. Okay, well, which, which you uh, watch on which network? Looney Tunes or Cartoon Network? Yeah, cartoon Network. Cartoon Network, you grew up on the 21st century. I, 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 I feel it. <laughs> All right. I said, you, you got a favorite like favorite uh, Cartoon Network person or, or TV show, I should oh, say? Yeah, You said, huh? And then, oh yeah, that's the best. That's the best TV show. Oh yeah, that's definitely lit. That's so definitely. like, so like, uh, the mayor give you a million dollars and said, build something for your community. Let's kind of get you back on what we're talking about today in group two. Yeah, you know, yeah, we, had some, we can talk about it. Yeah, you, you know, we ain't going to say, I said, that's what you're back to. But, you know, if we have opportunities uh, <laughs> to do something, you know, what you'll do with it, you feel me, in our community. Like, you feel like, you know, just what, what something you think, smaller. What you think? To lean back up to that big think? question that we asked you before. Like, fact, something smaller yeah, in, in yeah. the city. Like, yeah. if, if you had enough money where you could change at least some in the city. Or do or or and, and put maybe something more. In the city. Not even change. Put some in the city. And there's maybe more, but like a million dollars to build something that you know. Or shoot, sure, your people, our people. Or shoot, sure, maybe you wanna. Maybe you just had a million dollars. What would you do with it? Like yeah, both sides. a million you dollars. Just had a million dollars. Million dollars and a million dollars with business wise. Like, like you keep it real too. If you gonna hey, put it to your son, like, generational wealth, we'll do that too. You know, because we definitely need need some more black owned businesses. But you know, keep it all way one hundred. Personally, me, if I had a million, they wanted me to do something to help my community or put something in my community to help my people. So, I, you know, I put my money into like a, into like a tutoring, only like a little tutoring spot, you know. Ever, you know, it's open, you know, even on weekends, you know, so if you ever need help with anything, you know, homework, you know, I mean, it, it's just not about homework, it's about everything. If you need, like, if, say if you need guidance, like, if you, you know, you just went on your own, you on your own. Guidance in the yeah, right. you know, so you, you know, just, just come down. You know, we're gonna, we gonna set you up with somebody or whatever. You know, they're gonna, you know, they gonna get you through it, and you know, we can set up appointments if you because you know, if you, you 
you gotta have education, you know, to go kind of, to get far. But then again, you know, you don't. But it's better off if you do get your education, you know. So I say that's what I'll be. I probably just bring like a mentor place to the, you know, to the north side or something. You know, if your kids ever need help with anything, you know, like, like say if a parent, if the parents work too much or something, you know, come down to the, you know, the tutoring spots, you know, we right. got you, you know, until your parents get off work or, or whatever they going through, you know, you can just chill out here with us, you know, we're going to have, you know, look, you know, laptops, look, games or whatever, you know, but it's really going to be, you know, to get your education, though, you know, if you ever need help with your education, we're going to make sure you get that, though. That's yeah. nice, that's, that's nice, because, like, get to the like, like, it's crazy, because I never heard anybody say that, like, literally, like, that blew me, bro, like, I never heard of that. I wasn't even thinking about that. And, and like, yeah, I know a lot of people who need help and stuff. So that's that's real good. That's came yeah. down to the real issue. You right. know what I'm saying? But talk, you know what I mean? I mean, like, no. Well, that blew me. <laughs> I, I think right there, that shit, that's all we said more. <laughs> Uh, we see what we we see what we doing down here. Merge is bringing us. We bringing us the finest of the finest, man. So come down here, check in with us with North Ford, and we'll get y'all together. You got anything you want to say to the people, the the viewers? Anything. All I'm saying is, if you want to make a change, this is the right place. You are never by yourself. Come to North Falls. You always gonna have assistance. Never on your own. Prime example. Oh, I'm a prime example because we all. I ain't. I see. You know, I. I didn't see anything. You know, so I'm not talking just to talk now. So if y'all really need help with anything, come to North Falls, and I guarantee you, we get the job done. Well, they get the job done. He's about to say we. Speaking <laughs> facts. Well, sure. Thank you for coming out. You know, talking to us, talking with the family talk show. Appreciate you having us, uh, appreciate you having, having you on the show. You feel me? We'll be back next week with another Family Talk Show episode. So get back with it with your boy Marcus. Your boy Will. And we out. <laughs>